Okay, so now um, I want to talk to you a little bit about our uh, new James Britannia Stardom. Of course, a lot of you know that we uh, had the uh, Stardom Gold Star, uh, which is a wonderful variety in combos and baskets. Uh, but we've also added a few new colors, uh, purple and a pink Stardom. Some people are, are calling this Summer Bacopa, and you can see why we have Bacopas here. Uh, flowers are similar. Uh, but the difference is, is the James Britannia is more heat tolerant. So you could uh, feasibly go from doing Bacopa early to, uh, in your combinations to doing James Britannia um, earlier. Uh, they're going to be best in baskets for sure. And then we have uh, two new Gulliver Compacts. Um, you know, these are similar to the other existing varieties. Um, they're compact where you can grow them pot tight in a court, uh, but I can tell you a lot of them are getting used in hanging baskets because they are um, a little controlled, uh, so they don't take over the combination or the basket very fast. Um, they can be shipped high density, and their flowers, because they're Gulliver, are just as big as um, the regular Gulliver variety. Um, so then we have uh, a, a new osteo in our Osticade series. So what's unique about Osticades? Uh, definitely they're nice for baskets. It's a trailing osteo. Um, it does, uh, does not need any cooling to flower, which you know opens it up to be able to be hung with all the other baskets instead of having a cold area. Beautiful color and uh, it could actually make a very nice uh, summer to fall uh, combo as well. So Harmony Colorfall is a true innovation in uh, New Guinea patients, and it's one of the first truly trailing New Guineas, which means that it lends itself very well to be done in hanging baskets and can also be a nice uh, bigger plant in the landscape. They are early to flower, so I'd say in our trials they were stick URC to finish 10 weeks, finish flowering. They also have very large flowers, so that, but the earliness helps you to sh have a shippable product when they're not too big, when they're just coming over the edge of the pot. Soluna. Soluna is a uh, true hybrid impatient. It's an interspecific cross, actually. So it does have the attributes of sun harmony or others. It will take full sun, uh, but can also be done in the shade. It flowers uniformly. It's not really meant to replace your other genetics programs, but it, it fills a good niche. It's compact enough to be done in a 306 pack up to a gallon and uh, with minimal or no PGRs. I'm standing here in front of a display of some of our favorite picks from 2020. So we call them pretty new, or I like to call them the breakfast club because don't you forget about me. <laughs> uh, one of the first ones I want to talk about is the orchid frost. This is a beauty. It is a beast, so you want to put it in a bigger container because it is going to get big on you. But what I really like about this, in addition to just the really stunning flowers, is that they're big and really showy but at the same time, a lot, of, a lot of big flowered petunias don't bloom early, so they're, always, they're kind of not timed with a lot of other petunias. These will bloom early, and they're, they're very early, just like some of the other smaller flowered ones. So that makes it really special. I would definitely put it in a larger container, you know, 12, you can see like a 12 or 14 inch is really stunning, and you're going to get a lot of wow factor there. Then up here we have Cascadia Chili Red, just a beautiful, true red. You can see that's why we called it chili red because it's uh, a really like a chili pepper red. Uh, this is part of the Cascadia line along with Hint of Lime over here. You can see why we named it that. It's got a little tinge of green in there and it's, uh, it's just really stunning especially in bright light. You've got it's not just a pure clean white like you can see it compared over here but it's not a cream either. It's got that green undertone so you could use it almost like you would use like an Ipomoea type of, type of plant. 
These are in the Cascadia line, which is going to be uh, the line that's going to be really well suited for hanging baskets. They're going to fill a pot and then they're going to cut, just like the name, they're going to cascade over the edges. Then within the Bacopas, we have the Gullivers, which we've had for a while. Uh, last year we launched Gulliver Compact, and these were the first two colors, the white and the purple. Really, uh, the, this is really a, makes a beautiful plant. They say compact, but look what kind of basket it makes. So you can start it in your court program, and then, uh, and then it's going to fill a basket beautifully. So it's very versatile, and I think this is really going to take over the, the, the Bacopa world because it is so versatile and got these big, giant, showy blooms. And then last but definitely not least, we have the hippie chick. And you can see it's, uh, we say it's got a groovy bloom. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a really interesting bloom pattern on it. And uh, it's kind of like the orchid frost. It's not in any one series. It's, it's part of a collection because it really is a standalone plant. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same habit of, of, uh, of any of the other series. It is big, uh, it's very unique, which is why it deserves to be called out. And uh, just all by itself, it, it's something that consumers are really gonna stop. We've seen this in trial many, many times and people always, when they're walking down the aisle, they always stop at this plant and talk about it. So it's kind of like the Crispedia over here. It's something that the consumer is gonna take it home and it's gonna be a conversation piece because it is kind of wacky, kind of fun. So this is what I call uh, the Don't You Forget About Me collection. Sally Fum Pure White. Uh, I left this for last because it's a, I got a little bit of a story here. So I've been doing this for 20 plus years uh, from this side. And I can tell you, uh, I, I sometimes I get a little uh, um, blurry eyed from a lot of new varieties. Um, so this was a white salvia and I thought, ah, it's a white salvia, uh, who cares? But it do, does exactly the opposite of the reason why I didn't like white salvia. So it, it uh, stays clean, cleaner than other varieties. A very large flower on a compact habit. Uh, so everywhere I've seen this, trials in Miami, here in California, and in greenhouses uh, in the Midwest, it always looks like this. So this is special. This is a must have for sure. Uh, definitely a thriller and a combo in the center. Uh, even a red, white, and blue combo. Um, it's very nice. You could actually use it, use it with uh, deep ocean um, as a mix for your blue and white, and then maybe a, a king, a, a king, a more king of hearts uh, for the um, for the red and white.